Okay, so I'm setting up the scenario which is a high altitude engine failure in a Cirrus. We're using a uh, G3 perspective equipped Cirrus that has a whole airframe parachute system. And uh, we're going to position ourselves just southwest of St. John's BOR. And uh, we'll use, uh, we just deleted whatever was in the flight plan before. And we're going to use a route of uh, SJN, which is the St. John's VOR, and we're going to go to PXR, which is the Phoenix VOR. So we're going to go to flight plan. We'll get rid of uh, SJN airport, and we'll do SJN VOR. And we'll do the Phoenix VOR. That'll get us established on Victor 190. And we'll do PXR. Great, now we're going to activate that leg. We'll hit menu. Activate leg. Yes. That puts us on uh, Victor 190 at 14,000 feet. We're going to climb up to that here. Uh, we're just working on getting established, and uh, the engine should fail on us in a few seconds here. All right, we've got all that. And we will play. Okay, so in this scenario, we, want, we now want to pitch for best glide, which in this case is 92. We're going to look at our airspeed, and then we're going to select our best option here. Do we need caps right now? No, we've got some altitude. We'll see what we have around here. While we're doing this, we're going to start troubleshooting to see if we can get this engine restarted here. So we're going to go and run through our flow here. We're going to switch fuel tanks. We're going to turn our boost pump on. We're going to adjust our mixture. And we'll adjust our throttle. Looks like we've got a little town or something over here, so we'll start heading that way. Okay, getting to that airspeed, so that's good. So we've got that, we've got that. Uh, in this aircraft, uh, we'll pull on the alternate air. And we'll cycle our mags. And that doesn't work. Okay. Well, let's see. Oh, looks like we might have an airport over here. Let's go see what's going on over there. Okay, so since that's not the case, we're going to go ahead and switch over to 121.5. Okay, very good. So we put 121.5, we've declared our emergency, and we're going to dial into our transponder. 7700. Well, thank you. And then what we want to do is make sure we run through our checklist here to make sure we've got it all. Uh, this particular uh, simulator does not have your checklist equipped, so you would want to have a, a POH or some. Uh, you want to have your POH or a checklist available to you when you're running this scenario. So it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make that airport. Actually, let's see what that is. We've got plenty of time here. So the elevation around here is about 6,500, it looks like, 6,000. And we're at 10.5, and we've got seven miles to go. The glide ratio in this airplane is about 8 to 1. We're going to go for it, and if we can make it, great. If not, we're going to make our decision to pull caps by 2,000 feet AGL. And we're going to start aiming towards a place to pull caps, and we want to make sure we have caps activated by 1,000 AGL. 
Okay, so I'm going to start shutting down my uh, engine and fuel information here now that we've got all this stuff. This is part of your engine failure checklist. Okay, it looks like we are going to be able to make the runway, but the purpose of this scenario is to demonstrate caps. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up pulling caps anyway, but we'll just simulate as if this airport wasn't there, and we're going to be over an area. Uh, looks like it, it's near population. You want to have a nice flat ground, if at all possible. Uh, you don't want to pull over any populated areas, but being near one would be good. So let's come over here, and we're going to pull caps here right about here. This looks good. And that checklist is basically just shutting everything down. Uh, you want to make yourself uh, want to turn off the fuel. You got that off. You've got that off. We've already called for help, so we're going to turn off all of our avionics, all of our batteries. All right, that's off. Good. Now, if you're equi if you're an aircraft equipped with uh, seat belt airbag, you want your arms in your lap, so they're not going to get injured by the uh, deploying airbags. If you have airbags, if you have a, an aircraft that does not have the airbags, you want to put your hands across your body like this and on your shoulders and uh, secure any heavy items and be prepared to evacuate. Okay, now you're going to open up your doors. If they don't open, inside your armrest is an emergency egress hammer. You knock out the window and you get out on the side that the, the parachute is not on. So if you got the parachute going to your right, you're going to get out to the left and go away from the airport, uh, the airplane to your left.